Okay, this is the $100 Ralphus round. Oh, I hope I don't fucking miss this thing, dude. Oh my. Oh, crap. This is how I like to feel. Okay, finally out here to do the Ralphus video, and we got the whole family lined up here. We got a whole family reunion going. We got the Tracer uh, Ball, Amax, uh, Incendiary. It's like a military grade one. It's pretty cool. Uh, I was just realizing I missed something now. Okay, I don't think so. And Spotter Tracer, uh, API, AP, uh, A Pit, and then the Notorious BIG. Oh. Come on. I mean the Ralph is around. So yeah, they're all mostly here to see what this does. But we're gonna this uh, we're gonna be shooting corn pop 2.0. You guys probably seen him already. He's two inches thick. He's a thick, thick boy. Uh I'm not gonna worry. I'm gonna shoot the ball because we'll get in the gun Y. And we'll shoot the ball. I'm not shooting really any of these. They ain't gonna do shit. We'll probably just shoot like these three. We'll save that one, of course, for the end, because this gun, so this is my LAR Grizzly, this is what we're going to be shooting out of. It's a great gun. It has a 36-inch barrel, because it's a bullpup. I mean, this thing is a tack driver. I had it shooting so good. And then last time I brought it out, I was trying to shoot John's uh, uh, AR-500 steel, which this is hardened steel. It's probably not AR, or AR-400, sorry, he had. This is probably close to it, but probably not quite as hard. I don't know what, what would be the next level down. Uh, it's close to it, though. It's very hard in steel for sure. Because even... Well, you have to shoot directly to actually penetrate. So I'm going to put it... We'll get in safety in a minute. Anyway, the gun, it... Uh, last time I shoot, it was shooting high into the right. So this gun, it chews up scope so bad just from the... The weight of it and i don't know being a single shot like all the recoil like barrettes they have a recoil and barrel and a semi-auto system so the recoil is much less than this one this one actually has a good bit of recoil to it it's not bad but there's it's a lot of weight so it really chews up the mounts and stuff so that being said i'm gonna see make sure it's still shooting good and then for safety i'm gonna i have my heavy plate carrier i'm gonna set up down here hide behind old can am hopefully <laughs> <laughs> Dude, if one wipes out the engine, I'll be so sad. It'd be good for a turbo. Uh, I'm going to set it like kind of uphill that way. It's going to be kind of directly on. Be uphill a little bit that way if you get a ricochet. Uh, it's just a mountain behind either direction. So there's nothing back there. So safety, we're good. I hope. Because these are scary. Because if you don't get a direct hit, like they always. I was shooting Corn Pop 1.0 before and i mean it was really you could hear them flying off places so i'm gonna quit talking gonna get set up and we're gonna do this thing okay safety a gangster ass setup we got an old tire found in the woods <laughs> plate carrier and then we're right there it's uphill so we should we're definitely good definitely good <sighs> so i was glad i actually did a practice shot off camera there because again it was shooting to the right <coughs> not sure why but I adjusted it, and I was aiming between the, the testes and the shaft, and she hit right there. So that was a that was a tracer round, actually. I'm surprised it did that. So let's we'll do a ball for another test to make sure she's shooting good. I'll try to shoot the shaft, <laughs> or let's aim for the head, maybe right in between there. And with the ball, we'll see what it does. So we're gonna try a silver tip, an armor piercing incendiary. Here. Should be good. Got a hit. Okay, next up we got a block tip, just armor piercing. Made a couple adjustments. Ooh. 
Okay, now we're talking. So, she dug in pretty deep. Nothing out the back. So, we'll see here. Yeah, about there. Hey, API went in maybe a little bit further. That's to the back of it there. So that's pretty good. He said uh, they will go through the one inch plate, just barely. So we're getting there. Okay, next up we got the A-pit round armor piercing incendiary tracer. Mouthful. And it's a lot cheaper than the rail too. <laughs> See if we can split the difference here. Well, here it is, guys. The $100 Ralphus round. Going into Corn Pop 2.0 down there. Hopefully. I hope I don't miss. Like, I think that scope might be broken. It seems like it's shooting to the right again. I'm going to take one more practice shot off camera. And we're going for it. Okay. <clears throat> Here it is. The $100 Ralphus round. I'm going to take my time shooting this. So I'll probably just edit out me like waiting. An hour to shoot the damn thing. Huh. That was awesome. I've seen something go flying. Right up in the sky, man. <laughs> hey, we got it though. Man, I was kind of holding it there. It's like, I feel good. I got this. Let's see where she came. All right, so this actually worked out really good. I welded two one inch plates together and I was hoping they would fail so I could see the difference. And they stuck together and right before I was packing shit up, I'm like, I adjusted my scope. I was like, I wanna see if I get this thing going. That's right where I aimed, hit perfect. That last shot was kind of uphill. It broke the welds, so that's perfect. So we get to see, is the Ralphus round really worth it? I'm gonna tell you, no, it's not worth $100. The only thing is, I have to go back and look. I don't remember this being missing. Because when I hit with a Ralphus round, I seen shit fly through the sky. I don't know if it was dirt or what, but something went flying through the sky. I mean, we'll see on camera. I don't know if it cracked that. I don't remember. Because there was two hit close, but I don't remember them taking out like that. Anyway, let me flip it over, and we can see the difference. Okay, sorry. Hopefully you guys can see that. It's so sunny out right now, I can't see too good. So this was the API round. I think that was a black tip maybe. Uh, and that was a Ralphus round. So you can see, I'm oh, sorry guys, and focus. You can see the tungsten core just poking out right there. It looked like it cracked the core too. Uh, his bulge there. But really this bullet, I paid like $2.50 for. And that one was a, $95 or something like that. It was like $90, $100. Uh, so are they worth it? No, but it was really cool. I mean, the energy that fucking thing had. You had to be here in person, really, to, to hear it and feel it. Like, very powerful. Very cool round. Worth $100 now. But it was interesting. I might get a couple more, do a couple other tests with them. There's a couple other things I want to shoot with them. So, like, you got some books, got some computers and shit. Maybe we'll set them all up. And then try to like shoot or maybe i got a bunch of lead maybe i'll make like a lead block and see if we can dig in and explode because it had some energy to it so let me know what you guys think what else can we shoot with it 
Then I got this plate back home. I can see exactly what happened. That Ralphus round hit so hard, it knocked all the penetrators out of the steel, breaking that one. So you can see daylight right through there. And then, uh, this is probably not. You see the tungsten core in there? Maybe. Nah, you can't really see it. It's in there.